Hey everyone, welcome back to another video for Simple Easy Art. Today we're going to be doing the Lionel Messi logo. So what we'll do to start is draw a square that's 5 inches by 5 inches. And the reason I'm doing this is because there's a lot of angles and lines and things need to be measured perfectly. So I'm using the square as the starting point to make sure that we can do all of that. So the square I'm going to be doing is 5 inches by 5 inches. Yeah, that was 6. So let's go shorten that up. 5 inches. And I use the plastic triangle to make sure that it's a 90 degree angle. So I use the plastic triangle on one side, the ruler on the other just to make sure it's 5 inches. Top, straight across. Now I'm going to draw a center line right across the middle. So we're going to make that at two and a half inches right down the center of the five inch square. Use the plastic triangle again just to make sure it's a 90 degree angle and it's straight up and down. And then we're going to want to also do another line, a horizontal line, that's right down the center of the square. So I'm going to measure two and a half inches down the side, two and a half inches down the other side, and draw a line straight across. So I'm using these arrows to show you how to place the ruler. So here we're going to draw a line from one corner all the way down to the other corner. Here we're going to want to place the ruler, ruler uh, in the same way for these angles, but we're just going to draw a smaller line. And this is going to be for the center section of the logo. So I drew a smaller line half an inch up. So now let's take the ruler or the plastic triangle and just draw another line straight down. And then we'll draw another line on the other side. And this finishes up the center section of the logo. So from the side of the, that center section, you're going to want to measure a half an inch up and just make a mark. And that mark is going to be the tip of each of the side sections. So from here, you're going to want to place the ruler from the top left of the square to that mark that we just made. And we're going to draw a line that's three quarters of an inch long. That line's actually a little bit too short. That one was a half, so I'm going to correct that and make it a three quarters of an inch long. And let's do the same for the other side. Line up the ruler into the top right of the square, uh, into the mark we just made, and then that'll be three quarters of an inch line there. Now let's get the plastic triangle. And line it right up against the end of that line, the small line that we just drew. And we're going to draw a vertical line there. Same thing with the other side. Make sure the bottom of the plastic square is on the bottom of the square. It's lined up and then draw that line 
from the edge of that little line that we just drew. Now here's where the angles start to get a little tricky. So that's why I use these arrows. Line up the ruler using those arrows and you're going to bring that, bring the line down a little bit past that vertical line there. So this is where you're, you'll start to see the logo come to form. So on the right side of the square, I'm making another mark that's half an inch down. Now using those arrows as the guidelines, line up your ruler and then you're going to want to make a short line there. Same thing with the other side. The tip of that line to the mark and then bring it across. And we're going to make one more mark on each side. mark down on this line so you can start to see the shape of the logo you've got the M in the middle there now we can start on the outside and line up the ruler, make a small line and then draw the vertical line there. Oops, we gotta bring that line all the way down. Okay. So we've got the basic shape of the logo now. Now we just have to use the marker to make the outline. So this little section is a little curved, so I'm going to use the top of the protractor to make that little curve. And then we'll go ahead and start on the center section. I'm just following that line, following the lines. and Again, I, I like to use clear rulers, or I, in this case, the clear plastic triangle, so you can see where everything else is and you're not covering anything while you're drawing. makes it a lot easier to get through the, through, through the drawing and not make any mistakes. Zoom in there, make it a little easier to watch. Let's finish up these lines. I actually need to correct that. I used the protractor on the other side for the curve, so let's go ahead and make the curve over here. And that's okay that I made that little mistake because we're going to color that all in, so you're not going to see that when it's done. clean that line up a little bit more. So there you go. You've got the basic shape of the, the top part of the logo. Now it's just as easy as uh, coloring it in.
there you go. You've got the main section of the messy logo there. So now we'll go ahead and start on his name. Zoom out a little bit so I can make space for the name at the bottom. For the bottom part, you're going to want to make sure that the that the letters are all perfectly aligned. So I'm going to make a line and then another parallel line about an inch and a half up. Draw that line across and then we'll use those as the guidelines to make sure all the letters stay right in that section. So here I'm just going to kind of eyeball things and make sure that the name is going to be just right. So if you look at the the logo you'll see that the E ends right near the center of the, the point there so I use that as the starting point. There's the S. And we just want to use the pencil as guidelines, so it might look a little messy when I'm doing it, but uh, I'm just trying to make sure that the proportions and the length of the name are right. And then once I'm, I zoom in here, I can use the marker to clean up the lines so it looks, it looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and get started on the M. And one thing to remember when you're doing these letters is you want the letters to all be the same width. So the, the lines of the M should be the same width as the lines of the rest of the letters. If, if one letter starts to get too wide, then it starts to look a little funny. So you want to make sure that the letters are all consistent. So the top of the M isn't isn't pointed or squared off, it's rounded. So just slowly make the curve there. Let's mark the center of where the, the lines are going to meet. We can bring that curve out a little bit. And remember since I'm going to be coloring the inside of the M, we don't have to worry about those little uh, mess ups at the top because we're just going to color all that in and you won't see it. So now it's time for the E. Get your blue marker. It's going to mark the top of the E and the bottom of the E. Let's make the edges. It's going to be three lines there. I want to make sure they're spaced just the same from the top as they are from the bottom. Now this line is going to be a little bit longer than the bottom line because the E curves and this one's going to be a perfect rectangle, the center section of the E. And then here you're going to want to make it longer than the top part. And you'll see that we we'll just bring it the curve down. The same thing for the top. Close off that center section. You see when I line up the, the plastic triangle, since I'm already up there, a lot of times I'll just finish off the other, the other letters just to make sure the lines straight across for all of them. So the I is actually a lowercase I, whereas the, the other letters are all uppercase, which I think looks pretty cool. So we just want to make sure those are nice and straight. The S's are a little tough because I don't have any ruler or anything to, to, to rely on, so I'm going to have to make the curves by hand. So a lot of times I'll just have to eyeball it and make sure that they're 
that they're just right. This S I have to correct because that actually comes straight down. And then the center S has the angle on the top. So let's bring up those lines across. And this lines too. You'll see I'm lining that up with the E to make sure that they go the lines go all the way across for all the letters. So you can use the E as the guideline. Remember, it's okay to mess up on the inside of the letter since we're going to color it so you can kind of ease your way out. It's a lot more difficult to correct anything on the outside of the letter. So. And this, the top of this S is actually curved alongside, alongside the S on the right. Now we can start coloring. Part of the reason I like these dual tip watercolor markers is on the felt side, which I'm using now, it's, it's really thin at the tip and then it widens out as it gets to the base. So the harder you press it or the, the more you angle it, you can draw thicker lines like I'm doing here. But for the little areas, you can bring the marker up so you can do more thin lines and more uh, smaller areas without messing up. Coloring is always the easiest part because once you get the outlines in it's just making sure you color within those lines and everything should come out okay. It's making those lines that are, that are the hard part. Coloring is the easy part. There you go, that's the messy logo. Thanks again for everybody. Thanks to all my viewers and subscribers. Uh, this is my second video with commentary, so feel free to leave me comments or suggestions on how I can make my videos a little bit better. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks again for watching.